once again we back yes we are back again and we have such a fun video to do today yep it's gonna be partly a series of why we left jehovah's witnesses episode one but this took yeah. place at a xjw meetup yes our first xjw meetup we have never gone to one before this was our first one and yeah. it's so funny because like whenever i have like social anxiety or something uh -huh. <laughs> so like before we went in there i was like oh i'm so nervous <laughs> yeah that was you yeah but it ended up being so much fun we had such a good time yeah we didn't realize that many ex-witnesses were around the area or at yeah. least in a loop i'm sure it's some in the area but not connected to people we may have known yes. through social media. Yeah, so yeah. true. So we're gonna just insert some clips about that and then we'll talk about it and like what our experience was there. Yeah, so stay tuned and Eva's gonna drop part of her story yeah. on this episode. Yes, yes. What's up, what's up with it? What's up, y'all? It is Sunday, April 28th and we have our first XJW meetup. This is going to be cool right here. Yeah, we've yeah. never been to one before, so we're excited, and we're probably going to vlog there, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, why not? We, I mean, we'll just see what happens with it. I know, right? Yeah. So, we are on our way there, and of course, we are running on CPT. <laughs> right. Things always. Happen. I'm always running on CPT. <laughs> always. <laughs> All right, see y'all there. Hello, oh. okay? Ah, ah, ah. Hi, guys. Hi, hi. Introduce yourselves. <laughs> I'm Andre. Andre. I'm Steven. Steven. Okay, Steven. <laughs> so we are in the house. So this is our first XJW meetup. Say hi, guys. Um, Say hello. Oh, check out the bag. Yeah. <laughs> I got the drip. <laughs> got the drip. <laughs> Watch Tower in a week, too. <laughs> oh, wait. Show the back again. <laughs> nice. Very cool. <laughs> All right, we're saying hi, guys. Introduce yourself. I'm Shauna. Shauna. Marla. Nice to meet you. All right, everybody. Where's the apostate shirt? Oh, Miss Ava. Thanks to Miss Ava, we got to be here. Nice to meet you guys, too. Glad you came. Thank you. Here's the apostate shirt. All right. Superman. <laughs> And, Lois Lane. <laughs> and the Smurf, the little mini demon. Look at that. Right. <laughs> Say hello. Hello, I'm Richard. Richard, Richard nice house. to meet you, Richard. You too. <laughs> Taylor and family. Yeah, Micah. Mike. Oh, look at the baby. <laughs> you guys are such a cute couple and family. Love it. Yeah. Okay, hello. My name is Eva, and my story is that. Uh, and when my oldest son, who's 42 now, was approximately 15 to 16, I can't remember exactly, um, he was doing really, really well in the organization. He did get talked to about the at, by the elders a little bit because they didn't like that his hair was nice and short and that it had a little spikes in the top and, you know, little things like that were very bothersome to them because it w didn't fit everybody else's hair slicked down. <laughs> so, but he was uh, very regular and out in service, um, fine, fine, fine young man. And he had some friends in high school that he went to um, Walmart with one day and they were goofing around and he was pretending that he was putting a um, a bottle of tire cleaner under his shirt and they all started laughing and made a big commotion and um, he got nabbed for that. So as a good Jehovah's Witness mother, I immediately called the elders and told them what was going on. So he has a judicial hearing and they um, deemed him not um, that he was that he didn't feel bad enough for what he did. I guess he didn't break down crying, so they disfellowshipped him. Wait, and so he when you say he got nebbed, he got nebbed from like police the Walmart, or? the Walmart from security. Walmart? 
was security. Okay, okay, and then you went to that. Okay, and, and then I immediately because he called me. Yeah. You know he's upset. Yeah. He called me and he said, you know what happened, and I called the elders because you know I thought, oh, I need some guidance here because um, I had married a man that was not a Jehovah's Witness, so I figured the elders could help me. <laughs> so, the police sent me. So what happened was they actually, even though he tried to appeal it, they disfellowshipped him. Wow. And when I asked them how they knew he was not, um, why can't I think repentant. of that? Repentant. Thank you very much. <laughs> repentant. Um, they said, well, you know, when they pray, Jehovah tells them that, you know, whether you're repentant or not. So in my little pea brain head, I was like, okay, you have no idea what I've been doing since I graduated from high school. <laughs> and now you're saying my son who did this very, very, very minor thing that um, he wasn't repentant. So I knew then that that, that was a, a big crack. It was a, a bit the biggest crack now because then when my family came to visit, they shunned him. And I came from a family of um, eight kids and then all their spouses and my nieces and nephews. And they just ignored him at 16 and, as if he was totally invisible. And um, when I went to the elders and tried to keep talking about this and wanting to have some answers, they told me, Sister Eva, you asked too many questions. And that was the last time nice. I've ever stepped in the kingdom hall. All right. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So like whenever he had his first judicial mm -hmm. meeting, did you get to be in the room with him? Absolutely not. They told me I couldn't. Now that's really now, if interesting because they're changing that now. Right. You know, that's part See, of the if, I, if I had been the mother I am now, I would have yeah. said, no, you're not going to see him unless I'm there because he's, he's a juvenile. Age, right? Right. Yeah. 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 I didn't. I, I trusted them. Of course. Yeah. And then when I think about it now, he actually, um, they did they're taking over the the role of the parent they're not yeah. you know a parent yeah. comes to them for some advice yeah they just take over the whole situation yeah. and so you um that's a huge problem within yes, the organization it's a huge, right now it's a huge and that's why they changed that that rule mm -hmm. you know on that broadcast mm -hmm. or the updates yeah they're gonna make it more softer for them not and to now be, if if or, like a juvenile does get in trouble they mm -hmm. they redirect mm -hmm. to the parents right and then um if it's still a problem, then they have like a mm -hmm. judicial committee, mm -hmm. basically. But take yeah, thank you so much for sharing your story. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so Miss Abe is actually the one who ended up inviting us to that XJW meetup. We are yeah. so happy that we met her and so happy that she was able to share a small part of her story. It was just very interesting. Like I can't imagine being a mom then, and then you think that you're doing everything the right way, yeah, you know? Yeah, by the books, you would think. Right, by JW standard, and it, going through that, and then them deem him not repentant. At 16 years old, and disfellowshipping a 16 year old. Over something petty like that. Something so dumb, over stealing, like, and the reason that they probably did it was because, you know how they ask the questions, like, oh, well, how many people know about this, and blah, blah, blah. Yep, that's and I, go to. Yeah, and I guarantee it's because he was around his high school friends that were not Jehovah's Witnesses, yep. so they like to make a, example <laughs> of people you know yeah. and i guarantee that's why they ended up doing it yeah for real and then he may not have been a favorite young person in mm -hmm. the congregation to get that slap on the wrist because it's all about who you know yeah that you know what that's a good point too because ava did mention that at that time she was married to a worldly man you yeah. know so she was probably already on their list of like okay well she's already you yeah, know. spiritually weak, yeah. all, that, all that bogus stuff. Yes, and yeah. oh, her son doesn't have, uh, you know, a, he's a fatherless child, basically. Yeah, even yeah. if the father is a good, it doesn't matter how great of a father you are. If you are not a Jehovah's Witness, then you you not know you're not a real dad. Yeah, doesn't not matter in how their good eyes. of a father you are. No, but no. I I definitely give her props for leaving at that time and to, yeah. to tell to tell somebody, oh, you ask too many questions. See, that's the that's the biggest red flag right there. It is. They yeah. just are always trying to shut down your critical thinking, shut down yeah. any answers being told, and it's just such a condescending and arrogant, you know, air 
to be around. And it's, it's all really a lie with the whole, it's okay to ask questions. They always put that out there, but if you ask too many questions or the wrong questions, the wrong questions. it flips on you to make you the bad person. Like, yeah. oh, are you doubting Jehovah? Are you doubting the organization? Yes. Who have you been talking to? Have you been online? And it's from the same people that told you it's okay to ask questions. Exactly. Yeah. Like, they will say that it's okay, but you know it's really not because just like in her case, she was asking questions and you get hit with the, oh, you asked too many questions. So you get hit with all this resistance that makes you feel like you are doing the wrong thing. Yep, that's exactly what it is. And we got more people that are going to be on later episodes. Yeah. But we'll let y'all hear just some of the conversations that went on around the table. Yeah, man, I have to say, like, there was great conversations that were going around. A lot that weren't filmed, of course, because we were also just being present there as well. You know, yeah. we don't want to... It's our first time meeting all of them and just sharing the time with them. And I thought that it was kind of, like, therapeutic almost, yeah. you know? Because you don't meet people just out and about every day that come from the same kind of foundation <laughs> foundational trauma is that a thing <laughs> <laughs> in this organization it is yeah seriously yeah. so from the same like foundational trauma that you have also experienced and it's just cool to meet other people who like understand your background without really having to like say it and explain every little detail yeah because everybody's story is similar and we something that i think brought everybody together is everybody feels like an outsider amongst some type of group. Yeah, that's This so religion. True. And we feel like the weird person or the crazy person. Yeah. And something that we brought out with is that we are the don't fit ins. We are the weird people. We are yeah. the crazies. Yeah. And we have a community as the crazy people yeah. that we fit in and realize like, oh, we belong somewhere. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And not everybody is going to like resonate with that specifically, but in the back of your head, even whenever you're like just meeting somebody new who is a stranger who was never a Jehovah's Witness, they'll have like different experiences and you think about it and you're like, man like i didn't experience that because i was jehovah's witness or i experienced this and then yeah. you start talking about it and they look at you like how the heck did you get trapped into something like this yeah. and you're just like i don't know yeah like it wasn't 100 percent my fault <laughs> yeah. especially like if your family was in it like like any other belief you just naturally do what your family is doing or what they say is the right thing because you just listening to them growing up was right yeah. around and something else that was brought up i don't know if we got it on video or not but um how it, we're made to think as a Jehovah's Witness that like everybody knows about Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, and yeah. like everybody knows what goes on. But in reality, you don't. And Ava had brought out a good point. She was like, there's only like 8 million Jehovah's Witnesses. That's like the size of like Rhode Island or something. Right, compared it, to the whole world. Yeah, compared yeah. to the whole world where there's billions of people. But whenever this organization is like your whole life, like... You just, you know, you believe. feel like it's bigger than what it is. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's true. But check out some of these conversations. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. If you were in, would you leave? <laughs> no, let my do what my wants. That's what his mother used to say that he He's said. Like, I wouldn't be in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It does. It's not enough freedom for him. Mm -mm. No, I couldn't imagine it. No. But I was house. raised up Catholic yeah. and went to Catholic school and yeah. stuff. And but they didn't have to go door to door. No. And, and go up uh, and give presentations. I, <laughs> I thought yeah. that, that was fine. I didn't have any problem with that. But yeah. come eighth grade, <laughs> all of a sudden, my parents said, we aren't going to go go to church anymore. Oh, wow. Well, wish my parents would. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, Are your parents still in? I didn't bother to ask why because I didn't want them to change their mind, you know. <laughs> Not because there's any hang-ups or anything. It was just, wow, a whole Sunday, you know, is dedicated. Well, you got to go to church and then, uh, go to confession on Saturday usually. And, and what did you have to confess? Time. Well, I had all kinds of stuff. <laughs> So, like, every Saturday, like, people had to come and confess. You go to confession. What? So you could have a clean spirit Until for, to get communion you on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to still be pure or whatever. <laughs> for Sunday? For Sunday to get communion. Oh. 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 Okay. 
-hmm. and then you do it all over again Monday. And then come Monday, it's all it's like the communion. Pure back, in, back in action. <laughs> communion. <laughs> like the, uh, what was communion? It's like communion the is cracker. like they give like you a little piece of bread. It's compressed bread. Yeah. And they say the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. and put it on your tongue. Put it on your tongue and. It dissolves. Like yeah. LSD? <laughs> like yeah. LSD? He, yeah. he, got bit, he got a little bit more kick out of the LSD. <laughs> so now we know what you were confessing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, the LSD came after we were out of church. <laughs> I was going to say, what if we slip that on right before they put. The yeah. And then you see Jesus in the corner. <laughs> right. Micah, all the loopholes. <laughs> To find <laughs> I always gotta know Sounds like everybody knows all the loopholes. So yeah. <laughs> We're them out. But you know what? The first time I ever went into a Catholic church was when my oldest was, um, was I don't know, probably a year old, and I was staying with my in-laws, mm -hmm. and it was Christmas time. And they were so wonderful to me. I couldn't say no, so I had to go to Christmas Mass with them. Mm -hmm. It was such a wonderful experience. Really? Oh. Yeah. It was really yeah. a, good, a good... I mean, once I got past being scared, that right. the building was going to crash around me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Same. Wow. It was such a yeah. nice... And the singing of the songs, it was just... Everything was so beautiful. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed it. I had... You know, um, I didn't have a problem with that at all. And then when I left the Jehovah's Witnesses for real, mm -hmm. I had gone to um, some of my stories talk about my um, best friend, Tammy. We mm -hmm. had been best friends since like 20. Yeah. And then um, when she became an ex, um, she gave me the crisis of conscience. And then I read that, too. And um, she um, was going to a Baptist church. Okay. So I'm thinking. Um, oh my gosh, how she's, different was that? She asked me, probably, if she asked me once, she asked me a dozen times to go. And finally, one day, I said, okay, I'm going to go. Uh -huh. And I'm thinking to my head, no, that whole thing, nobody worships Jehovah, but Jehovah's Witnesses. And don't you know the first song when we sang was, when we sat down to uh -huh. start? was about Jehovah. Yeah, wow. It was a song about Jehovah and it was Crazy. gorgeous. Yeah. This guy did it a cappella, a young man. Yeah. And it was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You always get me with the music. Not this Jehovah Witness music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. comfortable I wasn't comfortable in like my own like, no. my own identity. Mm -hmm. So that's really like you can create you a hell for feel yourself. Feel like you're uh, uh, like you always feel like you're so different from everybody else. Yeah. You yeah. know, you don't There's belong. A, I always felt like I do belong. That never went yeah. away from yeah. me, man. Yeah. <laughs> that never that, went away? Yeah, I never went away. You still have that? Yeah, that's part of why still I come feel to like these, the, man. But the <laughs> thing is, the only ones yeah, that, like, all the people yeah. that don't belong <laughs> come so together. Yeah. 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 Oh, I think you're so nice. I'm like, yeah, you're so sweet. Because if you look around, so everybody here doesn't belong. In a way, pretty yeah. much. It's in some we world, together. so we come together. And now we are the don't belongers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like everybody think you're crazy. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 They think I was. Sometimes I try to talk with the people who yeah. are no Jehovah's Witnesses or ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. And I don't think they're gonna understand me. They don't understand. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're yeah. like, well, why would you go there? Just like because I thought it was the truth. <laughs> yeah. My mom and like, them said it was the truth. That. But the Mormons understand. Uh -huh. um, oh, the yeah. other, you know, the whoever. This is like Seven Day Adventist. Scientology. Yeah. 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 yeah, Scientology. They understand. Scientology. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, that master manipulation of masses. And mm -hmm. the craziest part is that. We can just take the same tactics to start our own cult here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. This is the craziest thing. Oh, what? what can we do? We need to buy one of those kingdom halls <laughs> and do something with it. I wake in my old kingdom hall. My old kingdom hall turned into a funeral home. Wow. Ours, I think, is a church now. Yeah. Two of them turned into churches. One turned into a church. Oh, Mine is an evangelical church. Yeah. They sell them all to churches. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, so they do. And yeah. it was to talk about shame. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, he said this and it stuck with me and it will stay with me forever. Like, I can't unknow that we all want to be loved. Sorry. I want to uh -huh. be loved and I know you want to be loved. So it's like, you know, mm -hmm. like we what? have this in common yeah. that will mm, make us connect somehow. Yeah. yeah. We all want to be loved. Mm -hmm. you know? It is natural. 
Mm -hmm. I think the biggest yeah. thing is like they never tell you when you're in, but you. Well, I always to heard that they will. Right. Right. They don't tell you in. Like, you don't. <laughs> they do. The love bombing. You're right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is the it's most love you in. That's why they're so nice. Yeah. Exactly. Have any after leaving? Have any of you guys gone back in? No. Because no. my friend is so <laughs> furious. She's like, I need Dude. to go. And, and I said, if I go, I'm going to troll. So I'm going to wear I'm gonna wear the skimpiest clothes. Me and my friend like, oh, we're trying to see God so just be real stupid. Like you're, yeah. like you're going to the, the club. <laughs> She's like, let's do it. I never have. I never felt at peace, and I'm yeah. out outside. I feel so much peace. Yeah. Like right. I will never want to go back to that right. drama, yeah. judging. Yeah. So much yeah. drama. I never had so much drama. Before. Exactly. And, mm. Like, but in there, there everything is negative. Drama. There's everything nothing else to do negative. but to watch people. That's like your yeah. entertainment. Yeah. yeah. You can't do nothing else. I mean, you're sitting there and you're watching. Yeah. 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 The yeah. hamster yeah. wheel, man. It's constant. Like you gotta do yeah. more and more. Yeah. You gotta go out and service. You gotta study your watchtower. You gotta read this book. It's not enough. Oh. Personal do study, do more. constantly like, yeah. and you really and don't get to do me. like yeah, self development. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of stuff going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah, I, mean, I talked about Saturday and then Sunday, but really, it's it was, like communion. It was an hour each day, <laughs> yeah. 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 and that was it. Do, was, do no, any of you guys still go to memorial? No Wednesdays no. uh -huh. or anything like. Why would that? I waste my time? You know what? Yeah. I, what I something that I learned from somebody non Jehovah's Witness who did a YouTube video. This guy from Jamaica, really he into, you out, saw it, out, he went, okay. he's like, I accept, he's so well spoken, so intelligent, and he said, I felt wrong, I think I've seen him too. because I felt like you it were um, rejecting, rejecting Christ's body, it is. and I was like, oh my gosh, yes it is, yeah. and I, I don't, by not accepting the Passover. Yeah, yeah, the emblems. Yeah, so a lot of people commented that we did we did a memorial video, and a lot of people were saying that on there, and I was like, you know what? I never even thought about that, like how deep and dark that really is. If you if you believe in Jesus, you know, then how are you passing on the emblem? Right. JW Escape Elaine, she is the one we did Bible. I did a Bible study with her um, on Zoom last year, and she yeah, and she um, explained that, and I was like, oh my goodness. You don't even. Think Never about it. No yeah. wonder they don't social, want you to. Mm -hmm. And it's the same boring talk. Oh no, save oh, me that. I, I, I would never go to a funeral there. Like, I didn't go for no, either of my parents so because I said that's I just, the only time I would go I back. think mm -hmm. because they don't talk about your family. No, they talk just about a recruitment it. process. It's just another recruitment what they did. Yeah. I went to the last funeral. It was a uh, year ago, and it was like one of my last. That's what's it was uh, my uncle Bethel so. retired from Bethel basically in there we still, still have, you know, I've been there and they did this like, whole memorial. I fell asleep. Like the like, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody I can't remember. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and this one sister, and if you're Dominican, you understand. Like Dominicans have this way of putting things together. Like they'll use words that are not real Spanish. <laughs> you know what they mean. <laughs> so she uh, she raises her hand and she's like, "So what we get from this watchtower?" It's basically you can't give uh what is the syphilation? Is that the right <laughs> word? But she just ex she used some explicit words. She's like, because if you do she pretty much says something like you're going to hell. And I was like <laughs> <laughs> She just came out of like with some random rule. She's the and then she's she older. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can tell her anything. I was like, oh my god. That's the beauty of being older. <laughs> <laughs> you can say what you want and nobody's gonna turn a bad eye. The brother right, just kept there. going, but she was like, Did she say it during the comment? Yeah. Ah! The comments got wrong. Those sometimes. comments used to be so funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, until they reined them in, you know? Yeah. There would be sometimes like um pioneers or uh, missionaries that would come back from other countries yeah. and then they would start explaining things mm -hmm. and the elders did not want them to explain no. anything more than what was in the in the watch in the tower. Yeah. tower. Yeah. You had yeah. to only say what was in the watch. You yeah. couldn't give your own no elaboration. No, no. Yeah. no extra points given. Yeah. No, yeah. No, no, no extra studies. Don't no, be a show off. No. Like, yep. have, yeah. Yeah, but the missionaries the were the ones that usually were the ones that would give all the extra. Um, Points, yeah. Points, yeah. Mm -hmm. They did their study. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have anything else to do. And that's yeah. why it's so amazing whenever like elders or like missionaries and you know pioneers when they like wake up because yeah. 
a lot of them just dive deep. Like, you, yeah. you know, they dive yeah. deep and they're like, okay, yeah, this yeah. stuff really doesn't make any sense. Like J JT being like a oh, Bethelite, yeah. like he had. Jack, um, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think of how you say his last name. Schwarik, 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 or something like that. Uh huh. S dubs. I don't know his last name. Who? Oh, you mean um, Yasu? The Thank guy you. up in Poland? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we looked at him. Like yeah. he knows everybody. Yeah, he was on a stream. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. That's I was on a live stream with him. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 He's. I mean, those guys are so nice. It's always the nice mm -hmm. elders that leave. Yeah. yeah. Because they yeah. don't want to be all. They see the inhumane stuff. things right. that yeah. happen within there, and so they're like, "This is not in alignment with like myself." Right. So right. Gotta right. go. That's yeah, that's the, the ones that leave. That's the yeah. way you know that the the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> right they get out but yeah that was really it guys we wanted to like bring you guys into some of the conversations we were having but um i would say if you guys have never been to an xjw meetup you guys should definitely go we had yeah. a really good first experience and like i said it was like therapeutic i think you need to be around people just like you and if you are in the atlanta area we were about to start doing interviews we're gonna be doing like zoom and online too but if you are anywhere near the yeah. area let us know hit us on our instagram or in the comments and if you're willing to be on camera and share your story yeah and do it in yeah. per we're like in-person people we like in-person stuff so we yeah. prefer to do like the interviews in person but we will do them also online yeah so for this upcoming segment with these episodes these will be the in-person ones so if yeah. you are interested let us know yes and we'll get together and we'll do you know we'll do some things it'll be fun yep we'll cook something up mm -hmm. but in the meantime you know we got our book that's in the bio that's yeah. for our healing journal we got the pimo version and we have the regular version depending on if you were able to have that wherever you're living at or wherever you're around to read it if you of gotta course. hide it you know pimo version it's in the description <laughs> yep yeah. and we will catch you guys in the next video we're gonna drop a couple of pictures from the xjw meetup and that's about it we'll see you in the next one yep make sure they do what like comment and subscribe most definitely and hit that instagram at awaken truths ig okay all right